Welcome. Today we're going to learn about integration by parts and specifically with a combination of an algebraic and exponential function. So here is our example that we're going to deal with today and if you look at it we're basically integrating a product of different types of functions. Uh, one is an algebraic and one is an exponential. So you know, at first look, it may not be obvious how to integrate, and I always tell students, try integration by substitution, which I do address in other videos, uh, but this does not fit that criteria easily, so the next step is to try integration by parts. This is the rule for integration by parts. The key here, in item one, you see we have the integral of u dv. We want to assign it part of our integral as u and part of it as dv. And once we do that, then we can figure out the rest of this rule. And uh, our integral should be a little bit easier. u and v are differentiable functions of x. So the question is, which one's u and which one's dv? If you look at our example in 3, in this case, we've assigned x as u and the e to the 2x dx as our dv. The x is our algebraic part and the e to the 2x is our exponential part. So how did we decide that? Well this Lie 8 acronym you can see what each letter stands for and since in our case we have an algebraic function that would be the a in Lie 8 and we also have an exponential that's an e in Lie 8 you can see that the A comes first in terms of a hierarchy. And whichever one comes first, that gets assigned the U. So as you can see in 1, we've put the U right next to the A in Lie 8 to identify that. And in 2, you can see the DV is going to be our exponential. So it just ha has to do with which one comes first in the sequence here. And that one gets the U, the other the DV. Okay, so let's continue with our example in 1. As we said, x is going to be our u. Now, keep in mind, whatever the dv is, that does have to include your dx. So it's e to the 2x dx. Once we know u and dv, we want to figure out what du and v are, because we need all those parts to plug into our rule. So in item 2, as I said, u is x in our case. So then du would be the derivative of that, so that's dx. In 4, we have dv as e to the 2x dx. And in order to solve for v, we have to integrate. So integration of dv gives us 1 half e to the 2x. And uh, that, in order to get that, we had to use integration by substitution. OK, now we have all we need. In 6, this is the rule. We plug in the information we just got into the rule, and we do that in 7, okay? Then in 8, we're going to actually uh, have to integrate. Let's go back to 7. If you look at 7, you'll see there's another integral, okay? And you're thinking, why are we doing this? Well, because usually this second integral is a little bit easier. Not in all cases. Sometimes you have to do integration by parts more than once. But in this case, we can go ahead and integrate. And then we simplify, and we have what we have in item 8. And that's integration by parts. Now go practice, practice, and practice some more.